inhabited an optional mode that uses artificial intelligence to detect faces and moves the snake head towards the person looking at you. Here's just a few of my failed prototypes, lest you think I magically knew what I was doing. The foil snake was my favorite. In the end, I took inspiration from automata toys to minimize the number of motors I needed to solder and to keep the dress light. I learned to generate Tinkercad models for the snake bodies, then I 3D printed them, spray painted them, and added a rotating motor. Then I confirmed my design would work on a moving body with the help of some cardboard prototypes. I polished up the code, finished designing motor mounts that could be sewn to fabric and moved with my body, and then of course designed and sewed the actual dress, which was just as much math as the engineering. All the wiring and microcontroller brain went in a zippered pocket in the back.